What's up, crypto fam? It's me. <laughs> and me. <laughs> and you. And also. You. And you. And cupcakes. <laughs> we got a lot of great stuff here. Um, actually, today we've got a very important video. Uh, this one is it's kind of a bit more serious than what we usually do. Um, you know, there's a lot of family violence around Thanksgiving, and we want to do our best part, uh, our best jo good job at trying to prevent some of that. So rather than talking about politics this Thanksgiving, we would like <laughs> you to consider trying to convince your family to purchase some, some Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Um, it's going to be way better than talking about this friggin' election and all that junk that's <laughs> happening with it. And you may not have to fist fight Uncle Bob, which is usually a bonus, <laughs> um, unless you really think he's got it coming, and then you know you can do that. Plus, they're all trapped and they can't get away. They'll be full of turkey. They can't move quickly. Yada yada. All right. So we, so we made the case, but so we got five things that common questions that come up a lot when people are like, "Well, I don't know about Bitcoin." So we want to give you the answers to convince your family how to buy some Bitcoin. Number one is the price. Yeah, people will be like, oh my God, this is still worth investing in Bitcoin. It's already above 16,000. Right, right. And, and you can tell them, yes, yes, yes. A lot of major players uh, enter the market this year. You know, 2020 has been a crazy year for you know in other <laughs> aspects of our life right mm -hmm. but it's been very kind to bitcoin and so square entered the market uh, microstrategy uh, uh, largest uh, market intelligence company entered the market paypal entered the market just to name a few yeah so really the the smart money and the smartest um, investors are moving into this space. Yep, they're seeing the upside and they're choosing to hold a little bit of Bitcoin instead of staying in cash, which is interesting. I find that very interesting. And uh, if you're concerned about all this money printing going on, you should probably find that interesting too. And hopefully your family does. Probably Uncle Bob doesn't, but that's okay. He's yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, he's uh, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's just hard to convince. <laughs> yeah, he's just, yeah. yeah. Um, second question is, I, I get a lot, is about the volatility. It's up, it's down. Yeah, I'm rich, I'm poor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke. I could buy a Lambo. Um, but honestly, that's just the name of the game at this point. I think less than, I mean, 1% of the world is, you know, into crypto or owns a bit of cryptocurrency. Um, so there's really, you know, a very, very long ways to go with adoption. And, you know, the way I think about it is, you know, if you do a cannonball into the kiddie pool versus you do a cannonball into the Olympic swimming pool, uh, the amount of disturbance and volatility that occurs is drastically different. And Bitcoin is on its way from being in the kiddie pool to the Olympic pool. We're not quite there yet, but as more and more people catch on to this stuff, which they are, I mean, every single day the adoption is growing, um, you're going to see that volatility correspondingly go down as there's a bigger pool of liquidity yeah. um, to, to absorb lots of the, the buying and the selling. So that's you, number two. You got to remember that the market cap is still lower than the art uh, market cap. So right. for, you know, Yep. paintings and such. So mm -hmm. um, it's still a very tiny fraction of what it, what it will be one day. So. Amen. We also know that grandma. Number three. Yeah, number three <laughs> is grandma because you know she's going to come in hot. <laughs> yeah, she's, <laughs> she's, got the, she's got the hot questions. She's going to bring <laughs> up that, well, there is no intrinsic value. You know, I like to touch it. That's usually what they say. I like to touch it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> um, and so for that, you can ask about her figurines. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You don't. You, you don't. You've got too many little hobbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, how do those have intrinsic value? <laughs> oh man, it should come for you. It should poison yeah, your yeah. turkey. <laughs> Maybe that's just my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. You don't want to say that, but you want to explain that. You know. Uh, the decentralized nature of Bitcoin is one of the, the, the reason why people are investing because no financial institution, nation, state, king, queen can control it. So that's mm -hmm. one of the things that people find appealing. The limited number 
uh, the limited supply obviously there's only ever gonna be 21 million bitcoins mined and that is again something that people find appealing mm -hmm. um, makes it intrinsically valuable uh, yeah for sure and it's open source so it's like this beautiful transparent monetary system that you don't have to trust because you can verify <laughs> right yeah and it's all yeah it's all there it's all out in the open you can see exactly how it works and uh, it's you know we we made a donation to our friend in Nigeria uh, the other week and you know we were able to send Bitcoin to him and he's able to convert it into the local currency almost immediately Okay, the whole process took like 20 minutes. Try and do that with US dollars or credit mm. card or something like that. Fees and all of that are just, you know, are crazy. So it has some, some actual real world utility um, and also does have intrinsic value like Chill mentioned. So that's how you uh, hopefully convince, convince grandma, although she's probably a tough, she's a tough she's cookie. So. I can't touch it. <laughs> Here's the keep key, grandma. <laughs> touch this. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, got those hardware wallets. Okay, number four is the question we get a lot is, wasn't Bitcoin a scam and it's only used by criminals? And, you know, that's a big one. And that's been a very mainstream media narrative. And my response is that Bitcoin is not a scam. Bitcoin has been proven to work as intended and functioning perfectly fine uh, with no interruptions in service or anything since it was created. But the people in the Bitcoin space some of them are not super trustworthy and are out to scam people. Um, hey, you know, hey, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? I mean, if you don't know what we're talking about, Google <laughs> BitConnect. Um, but yeah, great example of, of a, a person scamming people in the Bitcoin space. Um, and, you know, is it used by criminals? Yes, it can has be. been used by, it can be, so can cash. I mean, did JP Morgan, or no, it was, it was Britain. Some, somewhere in Britain, they were laundering like cartel money and they got fined billions and billions of dollars. So it's like any form of money or value, Anything. currency I mean, can a be knife, used. Yeah. Poison. <laughs> I mean, diamond, diamonds, cash, Bitcoin, it can all be used to facilitate something illegal. And actually, Bitcoin is harder to do that because every single transaction, if you're able to tie it to somebody's identity, you can figure out pretty quickly what they've been doing, where they've been sending their money. So it's not really a great tool for criminals, even though that's kind of the narrative. It's uh, pretty transparent. It's yeah. very transparent. Um, Monero and Zcash, that's a little different, but you know, you have to come tune into our live stream to, uh, to learn about how that it works. Um, all right, number five is no one knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is. That's mm -hmm. pretty sketchy. What do you yeah. say? Well, I never met Newton personally. <laughs> <Isaac> <laughs> and I'm very suspicious, you know. At the time, people didn't have any leisure time. Everybody was working hard. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. this guy was sitting under the apple tree doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> because obviously, that's kind of weird. Coming from, you know, the wealthy, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Illuminati. <laughs> who yeah. knows? I mean, I never met him. I'm just. I don't, yeah, I don't know who Isaac sketchy. Newton is. I, maybe I, you know, I may not believe in gravity. No. I'm going to go walk off a cliff and be like, you know, Isaac Newton was probably full of it. I never knew him. I never <laughs> met him. <laughs> I'll just go walk off this cliff. Exactly. <laughs> um, but yes, jokes aside, you don't need to know who Satoshi Nakamoto is to trust Bitcoin. Because it's open source. It's open source. <laughs> the whole point is that it's decentralized and trustless, so you don't have to trust in any single one entity or person or organization um, and uh, you know I'm perfectly comfortable with him being anonymous and it kind of lends a bit more like mystery and excitement to it um, and you know at the end of the day Bitcoin's either going to work or it's not going to work it doesn't really matter if it's you know. It's a very sincere process. <laughs> yeah and there's you know millions of people hundreds of people probably maybe not millions have contributed to the code base since then Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's no longer only Satoshi Nakamoto who is, is working on this. He's actually stopped working on it for, you know, many, many years ago. And it's all the, you know, the open source community that's developing it now. So um, We all think he's dead. Yeah. Killed by Newton. My one friend, my one <laughs> killed by Newton. Oh, man. And, and JFK ordered it. <laughs> um, no, my one friend thinks that Adam Back is Satoshi. Because if you Google, mm -hmm. if you Google like you know like Hal Finney 
or some of the other people that were like around back in the day. There's all these different theories and message boards like is he Satoshi, is he not? But if you Google like is Adam back uh, Satoshi, there's like no, it doesn't return anything. So it's almost like it's been scrubbed. Um, mm. I don't know whether or not that is. I kind of hope not because he's kind of, he can be a little bit of a maximalist, which I don't always agree with, but it could be, mm. you never know. If it is, you heard it here first. <laughs> we'll see if our video gets reported and taken down by Adam. Yeah. He's like, don't blow my secret. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So uh, what's our last? That was number five. Was Isn't, uh, no one knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is. I mean, we could okay. keep going all day, but I think those top five are pretty solid. Should give you a good chance at convincing your family uh, to buy some Bitcoin. And even if it doesn't, at least you're not talking about politics. Right? <laughs> so have a great Thanksgiving. We love y'all. And we're going to keep building the open economy that we all deserve. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.